deutsche Industrie nun? Papa Flammy's Advent Calendar. Oh, I, a, 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 ha, are you here? Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to Papa Flammy's Advent Calendar. Thumbs up if you recognize this jacket right here from a fucking fancy, extremely good anime. Okay, Papa loves his extremely expensive anime merchandise made by Cosper. It's a really nice brand out of Japan. They really know how to do this stuff, okay? We're going to talk about paper today on this episode of Papa Flemmy's Advent Calendar, okay? Have you ever thought about a Dean? A size paper, okay? Dean is not something that you say in the USA, okay? That's a Deutsche Industrie norm. Um, let's just say A size paper. This is something that you sh should be familiar with. Um, let us take a look, okay? Let's say this right here is. This is actually pretty accurate. This is A-size paper, okay? It has a certain ratio and we want to find out this ratio. At first, I would like to take a look at this. Oh, goodness. At this A-size paper, it has a certain height. Let's call this height A. And we are going to call the base B. Now, if we take a look at the ratio, we are going to declare the ratio to be um, the long side, okay? over the short side and we are going to want to have it as follows so a over b then now we are going to take a look at what happens if we fold it in half now we have a size paper again the, the cool thing about a size paper is that it keeps its ratio even though we are going to fold it into halves okay we are going to have this new piece of paper with a new ratio c over d it's going to stay the same ratio, long over short. So D over C. But what is D and what is C? Well, if we take a look, this is just transformation. B is exactly D, okay? Meaning A over B is thus, okay, D is nothing other than B. But what is C? Well, we fold it into half. Meaning C is nothing other than A over two. Taking the reciprocal leaves us with two B over A. And this is cool because now we can actually solve for our A's and B's, okay? The B's and the knees B's, 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 knees B's, 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 B's. So we are going to have A squared being equal to two times B squared. And now we can actually solve for our original ratio. What is the special ratio that our paper actually has? Dividing by B squared, okay? Dividing by the B's. Both have, have a square, we can distribute it outwards. A, B squared is thus two. A and B are both defined to be positive. If we take the third now, we are going to end up with A over B being equal to the positive square root of two. This is the ratio, isn't it quite curious? Even after folding it together, it keeps its ratio and it's exactly square root of two. It's an irrational number, this is bloody amazing. And now it fell down, go F yourself, mate. But we can go even further. We can actually solve for our A, for example. And now we are going to take another thing into account from the Deutsche Industrie in Deutschland, okay? We are going to say that A not size paper is defined as having one square meter of area. And with this out of the way, you can fold it in half and get to A1 and then to A2 and blah, 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 up until A4 size paper, which is nothing but this right here, which has a certain area. Now, how is the area defined? Well, it's just base times height, okay? Meaning overall, we are going to have A times B being equal to one square meter. Now, this M actually looks ugly yet again, just like with the limit, okay? Just like a squiggly old line I have right here. Now we can actually solve a little bit. So for example, we have this relationship. A is does nothing but square root of two times B, leaving us with um, B squared times the square root of two, being nothing other than one square meter. Now we can divide both sides by square root of two and then take the square root. B is defined positive. It's a length in the Euclidean space, meaning we're going to take the positive third yet again, leaving us with b being thus equal to the square root of one over square root of two. Square root of one is one, leaving us with one over the square root of the square root of two. Meters, if you take the square root of square meters, it's going to end up with meters because this thing right here is an actual length. 
And this is Gucci. And this is pretty Gucci, okay? Because now we have an expression for B, but we also can find out the expression for A because we have this relationship right here. If we plug in our B, then A times, okay, um, one over the third of the third of two square meters is actually nothing but one, um, no meters, it's actually nothing but one square meter. We can cancel out meters, okay, those are just units, meaning we can multiply both sides by square root or square root of two, it's not equal to zero, leaving us with A being something double irrational, <laughs> meters. And if you translate this to A4 size paper, it's going to be approximately, let me think, um, what was it, 19 by 30, something like this, okay? Yeah, but this is it. This is paper mathematics. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, recommend, channel if like. Don't forget, you can get 10 to 15% off everything in Papa Fleming's Teespring shop. Aber until the next video, have a flamble day. Ciao. Wie fühlst du dich, wenn du Gucci isst? Ja, genau. Oh ja, du bist ja absolutes Super. Ja, klasse. Mm.